Fires are a major source of smoke and polluting gases, such as carbon monoxide. There are satellites designed to measure molecules in the atmosphere, including carbon monoxide, shown here hovering over fires in Central Africa. The reason why we're looking at carbon monoxide is that it's an important tracer of atmospheric pollution. And because of its lifetime of several weeks to months, it's an excellent tracer to follow where the pollution goes. Anamika works with the European Space Agency satellite Envisat and its Skiamaki sensor. Skiamaki, a Greek word, means fighting shadows, which is appropriate as it hunts invisible polluting gases in the atmosphere. The way Skiamaki measures the different molecules in the atmosphere is that it measures the reflected sunlight. So the sun emits light and the light is reflected by the Earth's surface and then it reaches the satellite. But on its way from the sun to the satellite, it passes through the atmosphere twice. And on that way, the molecules in the atmosphere absorb part of the solar light. The result is a series of bars showing the intensity at wavelengths of infrared light that are unique for each gas. This is methane. And this, carbon monoxide. We were looking at uh, the carbon monoxide distribution in the southern hemisphere. We knew that there was biomass burning going on in the north of Australia. But then we also saw that there were enhancements in central Australia. So we were wondering where did that come from? And our first guess was that it came from the north of Australia. That was the most logical guess. But when we used our models to trace back the origin of the enhancement that we saw over central Australia, we found out that to our big surprise, most of the enhancement was actually coming from South America. Vast plumes of carbon monoxide spread high in the atmosphere, traveling across continents and oceans before arriving half a world away in Australia. A long-range transport is not confined to the southern hemisphere. It also happens in the northern hemisphere. For example, pollution from Asia travels all the way to the west coast of the United States. 